Hi, I'm doing this video today for guys like me who understand JS, who studied and worked in JS, but who are not capable of writing any line in uh, Python script or any other IT language. So I'm going to ask uh, ChatGPT to help us with a simple Python script uh, to uh, carry out a JS uh, operation that is uh, very simple. Uh, that we can certainly do with the existing JS tools in uh, in QJS because I'm, I'm going to use QJS, but uh, there are other tools in in other applications that can do the the, the same kind of stuff that we're going to do uh, now. But the purpose here is really just to see if if ChatGPT can can write uh, a code that we can actually use. I don't believe that we should uh, at this stage ask for uh, or try to produce codes that are complicated because then uh, you really need to have a minimum of uh, knowledge in in IT programming to be able to spot the uh, the gaps and uh, and the small uh, the small mistakes uh, or the small inaccuracies uh, here it's really for people like me who don't understand anything to to programming and don't want to get involved in uh, editing any 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 script so what i'm going to do is to try to extract um, a country this is a map of Africa in shapefile format, and I want to extract the country and export it into shapefile format. Okay, so uh, let's say chat GPT. Can you provide me with a simple Python script? that will extract a single from map of Africa in chip file format and export it as shape file. using QGIS. Okay, cool, so it's writing a script. Okay. So I said that's what for people who don't deal with uh, coding and don't understand anything to coding. So uh, one of the question would be where do I put it after uh, the code is available? So he he says that uh, now that the script assumes you have the Africa shape file in QJS installed and set up, which is the case. Replace path to Africa shape file and path to Senegal shape file with the actual path to shape files. Okay, so um, that's interesting because. Uh, ChatGPT cannot know, obviously, where your shape file is located. So I don't want to touch it myself. And um, I will do something else. I will just go and see where the file is located. Uh, great. OK, that's the full path. Copy. OK. I will see. Replace, I'll say replace uh, path to Africa shape file. Okay, replace path with have copied and replace path to. Single shape file to uh, maybe the same the same folder same folder but just in box yeah good 
So as I said, that's really for people who don't want to deal with or cannot do deal with coding. And we know that uh, it's very sensitive uh, code, uh, any comma or point or even a letter that's, that is missing that can mess up the whole uh, the whole process. So I prefer ChatGPT to, to do everything everything itself. Yeah, and it is uh, actually it is uh, replacing with the uh, the information I have provided. So okay, that's good. We don't have any note now, so uh, uh, that's what uh, people uh, like me would ask. Where do I insert this code in writing console? Query. So it's giving us all the steps. So not only that he writes, it writes all the the, the code, but it's, it can also drive you through the process of inserting the code on QGIS. Okay, so copy the code now. Let's go to the Python console, screen up what was before, and insert our code. Okay, there are too many messages, error messages that I don't understand. So I'm just going to copy it and go back to ChatGPT and say, I got this error message. Paste, enter. And Python console in QGIS, okay. The error message says that the shape fonts path containing escape sequences that cannot be processed by the Python compiler. To fix this, you should replace each backlash in the path with the forward slash or use both strings by adding an R. Okay. Is it actually doing it? The whole the whole code? Yeah. Looks like. Okay, so let's try now. Okay. Okay. Enter. Okay. What is this? Treated. Another continent. <laughs> ah, there is an output here. Let's see. Apparently, uh, our ship file has been created. Yes, it's been created here. We actually managed to create, to export our shape file. First Feb 1424, it's now. We managed to uh, export our shape file to create and export, to extract and, and export. Uh, so let's see if we can import it in QGIS. I'm going to remove this map because I don't need it. Yeah, I don't know why it uh, created another map of Africa, but let's see if that has been done as we wanted it to be. Yeah, okay. Um, go to the docs. Let's find our ship file. Where is it? Senegal ship file. Add. Ta da! Yes, yes. That's Senegal. So we managed to, this is amazing, we managed to use ChatGPT to extract a country from, uh, to extract Senegal from uh, the map, the whole shapefile of Africa and export it as shapefile uh, using a Python code that has been 
cre produced, created, written by ChatGPT without uh, us touching uh, or editing the code and uh, by also asking ChatGPT how uh, we can ins insert uh, the code uh, in ChatGPT. So this gives a lot of hope, uh, in QG, sorry. So this gives a lot of hope to people like me who, who were really lost when it came to, uh, to programming. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. I encourage you to uh, try uh, ChatGPT and in GIS, try to, to ask it to, to give you scripts and see if you can use them on, on QGIS or any other uh, GIS software. And uh, please let me know your experience and what, what you think of uh, this video and your own try.